here in the States, I'm guessing that 95%, it might may even be higher, of beginning flutists to begin in a band program. And um, they begin with the band method book. Um, there's, there's some problems with this. First of all, those band method books, um, they have to accommodate many instruments. And unfortunately, the, the flute is, it doesn't work well for the flute. Uh, when they begin, they begin with a B-flat major five note pattern. So you start from B-flat and then a C and very quickly you're at that C and if they're using a long note approach they might be holding it for uh, four beats and where is that thumb going to be because it's very difficult to balance and then you have the difficult C to D finger change then E flat and then a cross fingering from E flat to F um, and then up to the G and those are the notes that they're kind of stuck on for often almost six, seven months. Uh, not only is it problematic because the finger changes, begin are very difficult, um, it also, they get stuck in just that lower register, and then it makes it very difficult to play in multiple octaves. There's such a huge difference between my students who have uh, started with a band method book or another method that just stays in the lower octave for a year or less and the students who begin playing in multiple octaves right away. Their flexibility, their ability to play with a beautiful tone and in tune, um, the advantage, it's an enormous advantage. I know that most method books now at least give a nod to playing in multiple octaves. When I do clinics for band directors, uh, I show them a little video of a four-year-old playing Mary Had a Little Lamb on the flute with the head joint. And during that, she accidentally gets all uh, three octaves of the flute. So she's up high and down low, and I ask them how many of their trumpet players accidentally get a double high C um, on one of their first lessons. So, and they think that's very funny. Well, it, it, I just say that to illustrate that Accidentally, you'll notice when you start students with a flute, they're playing high, they're playing low, some the high notes are very easy for them, some the low notes are very easy for them. And instead of just um, learning to use just a more open embouchure in the lower register, I think we should develop both and that flexibility. So we start then on the head joint. When we cover the end, we're going to use very hot air. Move the lips forward. So that lower note, the embouchure hole is very open. You just need to get that ear calm straight down. And then we bring our lips slightly forward with more of a P sound. Po or poo, P, po, P. So the ear calm comes slightly higher. they can do that and they're on the whole flute you continue um, not only with harmonics but you can do simple pieces by just moving two fingers so if we did Mary had a little lamb this time instead of the B flat major five note pattern where they would begin with we're just going to do um, G A and B so B A G A B so we're only moving two fingers we can balance the flute right here because we really want to concentrate on tone and flexibility. So, and out of the hundreds of flute players I've started, I've never had one not be able to do that. I think the only time it's difficult if we don't start them that way. And again, the advantage of doing this multiple octaves is that their tone is gonna to be so much more beautiful. They're gonna learn that flexibility necessary uh, for playing in tune, and uh, it'll just make them uh, much better flute players.